Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Auto Transport Intel. It's Friday, it's noon central. That means it's time for Cars on the Move. We've got Jay, we've got Ty, we're live. Checking the audio stream. Check, check. Can you see me and hear me okay? I think so. So what we do on Fridays is we're talking about connecting dealers, auctions, and carriers. And to do that, uh, what happens a lot of times is that Ty is live at an auction. And I think he's live at an auction again. Let's go check in with Ty. By the way, please do say hello in the live chat. We got Truckify in the house. That's Muzi at Truckify. Visit Truckify.com. Here's Ty. Ty, can hey. you see me and hear me okay? Yeah, how are you? I'm good, man. How you doing? Good. I'm excited. It's a beautiful day <clears throat> Kansas City, Missouri. And, uh, Oh, okay. Last week, remember Friday last week, I was at a different auction, like uh, similar to this? Yeah, well, I was going to say, it actually looked similar, but it was yeah. a different auction. Well, yeah, different. Today, I'm at a different auction. I'm still okay. in Kansas City. I'm at a different auction. And one of the things we talked about last week, uh, we talked about maybe this week, I would go to some different auctions and see what happens in the sale. We, were gonna, we talked about going live, but it didn't work out. Anyway. Yeah. I went ahead and went to two, three auctions last week, this week, right? Two auctions this week, this past week. Three auctions this past week. Dang, you've been busy. Yeah, well, that's what we do. Right, <laughs> right we, gotta, we, gotta, we have a schedule to keep. We have things well, to do. Yeah, and you remember we were There's asking a lot, a lot to of see. questions. We were asking a lot of questions, what's, it, what's going on at the auction? Because on Friday, I'm not... The auction's not happening. It's right. like a ghost town. So anyway, um, I was thinking about this. Have you ever seen, do you, do you have the FedEx uh, symbol anywhere? FedEx? Do I have a FedEx symbol anywhere? Um, pull one up on Google. I want to show you something. It's kind of cool. Oh, because it has an arrow in it. Yeah. Yes. I, all right. So guess, yeah. there, there are things that we see that we don't see. Right. All the time. Subliminal. Subliminal, whatever you want to call it. Right. <laughs> Right? Oh, Hughes. Uh, here's a good one for you. Keep an eye out for flagpoles. Okay. Watch flagpoles. I noticed something that's interesting. Um, a lot of dealerships, especially even auctions, the good solid dudes always have a flagpole. Big one. Yeah, I've, I've seen a lot of flagpoles. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So what does this have to do with hauling cars, Ty? I don't know, man. <laughs> 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 well... <laughs> Have you ever pulled into somewhere and you're like, man, it just doesn't feel right? Yeah, sure. There's that, that intuition that something's not right. And I'm sure you're talking to, by the way, in the live chat, we've got Constantine from Exotic Hot Shots here. Uh, Juan and Maria Guadardo. Hello, you guys. Uh, I know Juan. He's my boyfriend. All right, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. Cool. That's so cool because trucking is a family business. And uh, Joseph McClear, I think that's Bogey Joe. Hey, Jay and Ty, listening and fabricating. Cool. And, and, and the reason I also brought that up is that more than anybody else, car haulers know when something just doesn't feel right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah. So I uh, went ahead and followed through. I went to Tuesday auction at Dust Kansas City. There were a few cars there. There were a few people there. But there's still this weird feeling like, Am I supposed to be here? Am I not supposed to be here? Wednesday, I go to Mannheim, Kansas City. That one's really weird, right? You got to get scanned before you go in. They only allow so many people. Does he not know we're live? Hey, <laughs> right. <laughs> How do you not know? What are you thinking? It's Friday at noon, bro. <laughs> Cars on the move. <laughs> Cars are on the move. Uh, yeah, so, so anyway, there, there's this feeling of I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be here or not, right? So Thursday, I make it to this sale, KCI, America's Auto Auction. Oh, uh-huh, KCI. And I take some videos. I send them to you. There are people here, and they're happy to be here, and it's happening place. Man, and people are happy sense, to be somewhere. There's a sense of... Come on in. You know, it, it just, am I making sense? Like, seriously? Absolutely. No, and speaking of come on in, I'll tell you what, come on into the live chat. We've also got Acme Auto Transport says, what's up, guys? 
Danny B says hello. Julissa Camposano. Hey, I Thanks. called her. Tell her to call me back. I left her a message today. All right, Julissa, you want to call Ty back? And if you want to call Ty, I'm going to put up a phone number. Check that out. 417-483-2764. And uh, Ty's looking forward to hearing from you. And thanks for tuning in. Thanks for signing up for Cars on the Move. That's going to be cool. You're going to like that. And Constantine says, The dealer I bought my truck from had like a 200-foot flagpole. Must have been a good dealer. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, people are excited. Uh, come on in. Oh, hey, <laughs> So, oh, by the way, Jay Renfro, I'm gonna have to tell. I'm gonna email you this so you can call Jay Renfro. He wants a phone call. Okay. Yeah, I'll call him. Okay. All right. So you're talking about man, I'm Casey. Talking Didn't about feel right. Okay. What we talk about? We talk about auctions, dealers, and carriers, and we talk about how they connect and how this works. So Jay's show, ATI, Tuesday Night Live, he's got people that watch the show. And by the way, Tuesday Night Show is awesome. We're going to talk about that too oh, in a minute. Thanks, man. Cool. Um, the Assertus gang. I, yeah, I've been thinking a lot awesome. about Assertus. Yeah. Especially after the show. I had no idea exactly what they did, but they do a lot. I, and that's why I keep bringing it up. I actually, <laughs> I keep bringing it up on purpose. And, I, and I've told them too that um, this is one of the things when we're, when it's our company, of course we know what we do. But it's funny what people outside of our company don't know. I bet there's things about auto transport intel people don't know that I don't realize they don't know. Because you don't know what you don't know. Come on, come here real quick. One second. Uh, let's see, go to the live chat. Ants Transportation. Hey, yeah. Ecosystem. What about the flagpoles we're talking about? Um, Ty was talking about how flagpoles indicate greatness. This is my buddy, Jay. How's it going, Jay? This hey. is... Uh Zach, do you guys remember two weeks ago I had Juan and we were looking at his truck and he Instacredit, remember? Yes. He was sorry. I don't know if he said it out loud, but anyway, he, today's Juan's last day. Zach is the new replacement. What's up, Zach? Zach, guess what? Zach's never right. hold cars. And, and by the way, Zach's like, what's going on here? Okay, so here's Dill, Zach. I'm uh, live on YouTube right now. I'm Jay. This is Auto Transport Intel. We go live every Friday at noon. I go live on Tuesday nights. I go live on Thursdays. So it's a YouTube channel about auto transport. Okay? There's auto transporters watching right now. You know, it's not gigantic, but it's a, it's a growing movement. And so we talk about car hauling. So Zach's in a hurry. He's pulling cars with Juan. So pulling here's cars. Okay. No, Zach, because Zach will be back later and the thing is, is zach's never hauled cars has he? i have not nope this is my first week so i started on monday and and i've worked every day since but this awesome is, I, I love it i love it are yeah, you I, sleeping well oh yeah right because you're I'm, tired I'm, I'm, a, I'm a local guy yeah. so local. so uh i'm i'm monday through friday eight to five so uh i got it pretty easy <laughs> that's great man that's awesome congratulations and we look Thank forward you. to talking to you more Thank you so much. Thanks, Zach. Take care. Take care, man. Very cool. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we get it, man. In auto transport, people are busy. I'm busy, right? You're busy. Well, when you're hauling cars, man, you got to go pull nine cars from here to there. there go. That's a long way. You got to go. And <laughs> speaking of pulling cars, at in the Odessa, uh, Odessa, in the Assertus umbrella of services, man, they do a lot. All right. All right. So we're talking about auctions, dealers, and carriers. And primarily, Jay gets guys that need some kind of assistance one way or another, and they call. Jay says, call Ty. So I talk to carriers. Constantly. Constantly. Call Ty. <laughs> <laughs> and that's actually kind of where some of today's show is coming from. Yesterday, I showed up at Dispatching Live show. Wow. Dispatching Live yesterday was awesome. Yeah, it was. And that I was got a great calls show. Off that show yesterday. Jay Wilson and uh, Reginald. Reginald out of St. Louis. Okay, cool. So the reason that, that I'm at an auction, the reason I'm talking about auctions is because guess who comes here? Dealers. Guess what dealers have? Cars. So if we're going to be a transport company, we want to move cars for who? For what? Right, we want to move cars for dealers and auctions. 
Now, are there way more? Yeah, way, way more. I mean, Jay, Jay's been talking a lot, and you know, we had a service on, they're talking about final mile, short stuff. <clears throat> then you've got the guys that are, you know, just starting out, we call them the wedgie gang. They don't really maybe know exactly what to do or how to do it. So trying to put them in a place, right? And then you got your fleet guys. Then you got your OEM guys. But anyway, we're all moving cars. And at some point, there's a pretty good chance you're going to touch an auction. Is that true? That is true. Even though there's been so many digital changes, the fact is, I, I, I'll bet you with, I bet, I'll bet when we talk all these digital changes, there's probably a lot of people like, yeah, I haven't seen a whole lot of change. Right. Right. Because the auctions are so big and so entrenched in this industry. Yeah. So where I'm going with this is, is it because, okay, so I do a desk on Tuesday, Mannheim Wednesday, Thursday, independent KCI America's Auto Auction. Okay. okay. Out of three, which one felt, come on in. Okay. Which one, I pulled in the parking lot. Which one didn't feel like I need to turn around and leave? What? Thursday, KCI. What time is the uh, auction? Starts at nine. What time does it end? Noon. About the time we go live. So we're not going to catch any live if we <clears throat> roped you in on a dispatching live. Maybe. Yeah, it'll make something happen for sure. But Let's... it would be as live, live like in the lanes, you know. Yeah. I don't the video, and I don't know if you can play it. I don't know if it's that important, but. Well, I would like to try to. We need to try to capture it. We need to try. We can do it live anytime. On a Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. Yeah. From like nine to noon ish. Yeah. Let's try to do one next week. Let's try to do one. I don't know. Thursday here. Thursday. All right. So let's do that. You guys want to do that? Hey, you guys in the live chat want to see some live at KCI during the auction with cars? Are you talking about cars running through the lanes? Right. They do that at KCI. What do you yeah, think Mannheim? Too. What do you think Mannheim thinks about that? Well, what Mannheim will say is we let dealers in too. Yeah, but they don't run the cars. They just show them on the screens. They show them on the screen. And like I said, I think here you have to get your temperature checked. I think they may ask you to wear a mask. But I noticed yesterday it felt like we know, you know, back... I'll tell you what, you just made me think of that. Here, let's do this. Um, you shot a quick video, right? Should we share it? Do we want yeah. to play this video? Here, let's yeah. bring this video up. Uh, let's see, Ty shot this yesterday. Okay, it's going to be quick. All right, so other than, check, check, other than uh, some masks, that look, look, look like normal America to me. Definitely getting better. So here's what I noticed, because I come up to these auctions all the time, right? For yeah. For 15, 20 years. So here's what I noticed yesterday that probably not a lot of people noticed but me. I'm a people watcher. I always watch people, right? <clears throat> and so there were guys here yesterday that do not come here. Does that make sense? There were guys here yesterday that do not come here. Ooh, well, so what were they doing there? Because there's cars running through the lanes? Is that what we're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, sh sh don't. Zip it. Yeah. <clears throat> don't talk about the obvious, okay? The obvious is is that people want to be engaged with people and people want to see cars move. And if you're Mannheim and you're Destin, you don't care, fine. I just said it. Well, <laughs> that's the thing. Whoa. Talk about speculation live. Okay. We no, I, talk, I intentionally go oh, see the guys that I do not see here. You know where I always see them for years? Not here on Thursday. I see them Tuesday, Wednesday, Odessa, Mannheim. Why are they here on Thursday, yesterday? Why? 
Well, and and uh, I, I, <laughs> I I know why. And the thing is, it I and I I feel like I've read this or I dreamt it. And by the way, in the live chat before I talk about my thoughts and dreams, we've got uh, Alberto Fernandez. I think that's a yes on Thursday. So maybe like. All right, so we need to schedule that, okay? I'm going to put down um, Thursday, KCI. I don't know, man. I don't know if we do like a 10 a.m. Sounds good. For like 30 minutes? Oh, yeah. Okay, all right. That's the plan, guys. If you're here right now, you're getting... This is inside information that we're going to go live on Thursday at KCI at 10 a.m. for 30 minutes. We never do that. But we're going to do that because the sound of that auction I, I, makes me want to be an auctioneer. And it just, do you guys do that? Do you drive down the road trying to sell cars out the window in the middle of the desert? Uh, Joseph McCleary says, that's what's fun about the auction. And Constant Scenes talk about, do they allow that? Mannheim doesn't. So let's go back to that. So that's the thing is that I believe, my, my, my hunch is that, uh, and again, I, thought, I feel like I read this or dreamt it. And that is that they're going to go to a hybrid. There's going to be, I don't know. There's got to be some cars in some lanes or digital lanes or virtual lanes. Maybe everybody's going to be wearing them 3D headsets, watching virtual cars coming in the lanes. I don't know. But we're headed somewhere. Well, that's freaky. We're headed somewhere because you can't just stop all the cars in all the lanes and have the, right? That's what you're talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about, right? So there has to be a hybrid somewhere. So so back to, I go to Tuesday and just get this weird, like, Bleh. right? I'm not sure if I even want to get out of the car. Wednesday, same thing. And by the way, keep in mind, like, the, the parking lot where dealers park, right, where you, where you go in and park, it's, like, empty. It's weird. It's just weird. That so is weird. Go Tuesday, Odessa, weird. Creepy feeling. Go to Mannheim, creepy feeling. I even get out and go, you know, hey, guys, how's it going? Just weird. <clears throat> Thursday, come here. Hey, 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 party car. Oh. <laughs> you know, watching the, the guy, that, remember Doug? We had Doug on, the GM here. Oh, right? yeah, Doug's great. Doug, yeah. Doug's alone, literally right there, and he's out there ringing it. Go, go, go. And everybody's happy and smiling, and it's, it's life, you know, and you got exhaust oh, fumes. you great. just... You just reminded me. You know what I'd really love? Maybe we can do this Thursday. Is I would love a quick orientation for for me and others of uh, who, like, what's the structure of the auction lane uh, hierarchy. I always think of the movie um, Casino. And in Casino, uh, Robert De Niro... He says, like, and you, and you got to watch the pit bosses. The pit bosses are watching the dealers. The dealers are watching the... And you get to understand the hierarchy. And I, I want to do one of those, right? Because you got the ringer and you got the checker. Yeah. yeah. So, for example, look. I don't know if you can see it. See this? Right. Okay, that's where your ring guy sits. He sits up here. Okay. And the car is right here. Yes. So you got this dude right here yelling, blah, 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 blah. That's the auctioneer. That's the auctioneer. And over here, you got what they call the ring guy. He just runs around and gets people to bid more. Right? Right. Right here, this is where the title clerk lady sits. Title clerk, right. Somebody. She's doing protects. I don't know. She's, there's a she's doing all kinds of stuff because... My understanding is when you're when you're a dealer selling, you can interact right there yeah, through well, your app or whatever. Stands right here. So right, auctioneer, if I'm selling my cars, I'm standing here. This lady over here, she's doing something, and then you'll have one more lady sometimes right here, giving you the paper to sign you bought the car. Maybe even getting a gate pass. You didn't invoice or PSI, right? So cars come from there to here, stop, 
See the screens? So this guy over here, he's yelling, blah, blah, blah. We got a picture of the car, right? With the year, the run number, the miles, everything. Details. <clears throat> yeah, car's here. And then over here, behind the yellow, right? This is where all the dealers hang out. So the dealer stands here like this, looking at the auctioneer like that. See the screens? So there's bidding online, and you'll see that on the screen. The auctioneer guy's trying to get everybody in here to bid. The ring dude, he just runs around the car and says, ah, yeah, 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 always yelling. Right? right? So the cars come in here, right? And there's your hierarchy. Right on. That's how it works. Pretty simple. Dude, I love that. Thanks for that orientation. Because it yeah. seems so simple. It's Again, it's one of those, you know it, but does everybody else know it? And the thing is, do you need to know it? Eh, you may not need to know it. But now that you do know it, if you end up at an auction, you're much more comfortable because you know what those things are. Right. Well, here's a pro tip. Okay. So if you get in the auction, which by the way, you got to be careful how you do that. Once you're in the auction, what I like to do is I like to stand like right here, right? So I'm standing here. I watch and see who buys what. And I watch and see how many he buys. I just keep an eye on that dude. He might be a customer. He might be a friend. He might be somebody I want to make a customer. So I'll just watch. Now watch what he buys. Oh, he buys off trucks. <laughs> I don't want to haul a truck. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> Smart, though. I mean, right? Know your customer. Yeah, you really do need to know your customer. And know who you want as a customer. Yeah, it's right. helpful. It's helpful. But uh, any information is good. Uh, if you're hauling cars, you just better plan on hauling everything, right? Right. That's right. That's right. If you're looking for smart cars all the time, you may not be too smart. So back to auctions, all right? <clears throat> Ty's always talking about auctions. This is an auction. Dealers bring cars to auctions to sell. Dealers come to auctions to buy cars to take back home. That's what we do. We pick up cars at dealers, and we bring them to here, and then we take cars from here back to the dealer. Basic 101, okay? So I'm reading this story, and it goes like this. If you're going to build a house, you need to build it on a really good foundation, right? So think about what we do here at Auto Transport Intel is we're trying to lay a foundation. We're trying to be honest, and we're trying to let you know hauling cars is not easy. There's a lot of working components. There's a lot of going on, right? And so this is going to be a good segue because I'm going to tell you New people are coming through ATI, Auto Transport Intel, Jay's show. Hey, I've been wanting to get in the car hauling forever. Okay, call Ty, right? So as we lay this foundation, here's the only thing I know, and I might be wrong, but I know OEMs make cars. They go on a boat, a train, or a truck. They go to a dealership. Somebody buys it. It's now a used car. Now follow the car. Right? Eventually, it's going to go back to another dealer of some sort. It's going to probably come to an auction. It's probably going to get sold again, and it just keeps going. So this foundation helps you to build a solid business. So time out, Ty. I really don't give a crap about what you're talking about. I just want to own my own business and drive my truck and haul cars. <laughs> right? And it's a fair statement because somebody mm -hmm. somewhere is saying that. Yeah, I don't give two craps about your auctions and your dealers. I just want to haul cars. Yeah. I'll get that call. That, guess who gets that call? I get that call. Okay, so we're looking at – this is where it gets really cool. I'm really excited about this. Watch. This is great. Get a company like Assertus who shows up. Assertus has a need. They do. They need people that don't know what they're doing to get on board and move the cars for them. Right? And they will mold them. I mean, they train. They teach. They show, right. they show you the ropes. So be careful. I just said don't know what they're doing. What I, what I really mean by don't know what they're doing oh, is I, I mean don't have a strategy or a plan. They just want to own their own business and drive their truck. Right. Well, right. Uh, in that 
that which gets us back to dispatching live. If you're only a load board and you're just you 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 want business. Yeah. Right. Well, it, for me, for a guy like me who's had a fleet of 20 semis that haul nine cars at a time, it's hard for me to understand why you want to own your own business and not build it. I why know. you get in the truck and drive around? It, it doesn't make sense. Right. But if I've got empathy, if I understand, if I listen, I'll find out. Amen. <clears throat> we can help with that. Empathy, okay. man. There's a place for you. Hey, I was a dispatcher for years. Eaten only off the load boards, and I thought that's how it was done. Yeah. So you take a company like, say, Assertus, right? And you take a new guy who's, man, I've been watching. Okay, I talked to a guy yesterday, Jay Wilson. He was in your live chat. Yeah, I saw him. Cool. Okay. We talked. This dude told me some stuff. Do you know he's been watching us for two years? <laughs> well, thank you, Jay. That's awesome. <laughs> well, that would explain... Uh, <laughs> That explains a lot, actually. Super smart dude, too, That's by the funny. way. And I mean, it's funny because, you know, I coach people all the time, right? Always coaching, always coaching. Hey, Ty, hey, Ty. Well, here's what's cool. I'm talking to this guy. I don't have anything to co He's already heard it all. You know what his problem's going to be? His problem's going to be he business. has too much business. Too much business. <laughs> yeah, we see that one. Like Jeff Bass. <laughs> Jeff Bass. <laughs> Josh Thornton. <laughs> Josh Thornton. <laughs> That guy's always driving. Brian <laughs> Pepson. Call Brian Pepson. Brian Pepson. He's like going nuts. I mean, this That's guy's awesome. Too so, awesome. not saying Ty's way is the right way. Not saying it's the only way. And that Jay and I talk about it all the time. We say stuff like, this is not one size fits all. There is not really a lot of easy about this business. Doesn't matter if you're doing final mile, it doesn't matter if you're doing. Ties a little game, you know, put a little circle and then just right. stay in a little circle. It doesn't matter if you're going long country. It doesn't matter if you're doing enclosed, if you're doing POV. There are so many parts to this as a transport guy, right? So I'm thinking today, I'm like, wait a minute. <clears throat> you talk to a car dealer. Car dealers got issues with carriers, right? Car carriers are Big stupid. time. Listen to them talk. Yeah, carriers are Oh, my are gosh. They, fly, they stink. They're rude. There are all kinds of problems, right? Never on time. I don't know where my car is. I right. can't find a good one. It's, I mean, it's a long, long list. Yeah, it's just nonstop. Yeah. You get a car dealer talking about what he thinks about a carrier, you'll hear it. So what, what's our job? What, what am I doing here? I mean, it doesn't even make sense. Some YouTube channel? <laughs> no, right. <laughs> talking about hot cars on a YouTube channel, standing oh, in an auction, oh. empty on a Friday <laughs> afternoon? <laughs> oh, my gosh. These guys don't haul cars. Yeah, we don't haul a car. We don't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh, which, by the way, is unlike any other YouTube channel out there, where well, it's all they're in their truck and right. It's it's all trucks and parts. It's so funny, man. Yeah, well, we can go look at trucks in a minute if you want to. It's, no, that's no, I don't. There's every other talking? every other channel. It's trucks all day. That's great, right. but, but that's only talking, one vertical. Here's what I find out a lot. We don't talk about equipment. We you really don't. It it's covered. We don't talk about equipment. No. I mean, Toe Piglet's got a new video this this morning. Here's where you start in Hot Shot. Like, they got it. It's covered. If, you, if you're looking for equipment, oh, check okay. out Toe Piglet. Yeah. Okay. He's got all for kinds equipment. of videos. For equipment, yeah. yeah. And I'm not an expert on equipment. I just know what I like, right? So if you ask me, Ty, what do, I, what do you think? I'll tell you. But that's not, to me, that's not building your business. It's that's not important. step one. It's not step one. It's step one step is who's your customer. <laughs> yeah. Right? Load board may not be the right answer. And so over time, because of Jay and because I listen and because I try to have empathy, okay, I think we may have figured something out. Yeah, right? we have. Actually, we have. Well, that's the thing is that we've done that together. Because I really, I love my, my auto transport industry ecosystem, 10 verticals. Man, I'm loving that graphic. Yeah. And I test it. It's good. Right. We're always, we're always learning. I learned something this week by coaching. Oh, man. <laughs> How to use technology to grow your business. So let's say, and the, you know, I always like to put the elephant right in the front of the room, right? So I don't, I'm afraid. I don't want to go talk to car dealers. It scares me. I just want to drive my truck and haul cars. Okay, well, why don't we try this method? Here's another pro tip. The next time you get a car that's going to a dealership, 
in your town where you live, where you operate. If you're hauling the car, talk to the dealer. He wants to talk to you now because you have something he wants. So be on time, brush your teeth, comb your hair, squirt a little cologne on. Hey, I've got the car for you. Hey, where do you go? Where do you buy cars? What do you do? I live, did you know I live in this town and I have a transport company? And they actually, it's interesting what you just said, that speaks to them because a dealer is thinking, I live in this town, I'm a part of this community. So if you speak the dealer language, I live in this town, I'm a part of this community, I haul cars. Because here's what I want to say earlier. You know what's, you, I don't think it's thought about enough? Is all those used car trade-ins from people, right? Where do those cars go? They don't stay at that dealership. Right. Well, that's what I love about what we do because that's changing. I mean, this, you know, I was thinking on the way here today to do this show. I was thinking, do you know how, what an awesome job we have? Seriously. Wow. This changes so much. And I'm not kidding. It's changed. I mean, I right, I've been for 20 years, guys, it's changing right now today. It, what's okay. cool is, well, sometimes time, you know, timing is everything, right? Timing is everything. Yeah. The timing of what we're doing and the timing of what is happening, can't, you can't plan that. It's yeah. kind of unbelievable. Right. So, you know, I'm, I'm flipping through LinkedIn today. You're talking about trade-ins. What do we do with trade-ins? Who even asks, who thinks to ask the dealer, what do you do with your trade-ins, right? Who, who, who asked that question? I don't know. I just want to haul cars. I just want my own business. Where's I don't the think money? it gets that. I, I never asked it when I was in dispatch. I never heard anybody ask it. Right. So I think Don Clute was asking it because yeah. he was thinking. Right. Well, so here's the thing. Used to, the trade-ins would come from the dealer to the auction. That's literally changed in the last, what, two to five years? So we don't know to what percentage. Some still come to the auction. Some still go to a remarketing facility at the auction, etc. It's not fully changed, but some of those cars go straight to another dealer's lot through a digital auction technology. There you go. Okay, so that's what I like about what we do. <clears throat> that's changing. Is it changing because of COVID-19 or is it changing because it's an election year? Or is it changing because we found a way to make a better, higher profit? It's accelerating because of what you said, but it was already changing. <laughs> There you go. Remember how you're always talking about this final mile and this delivery? I stopped by the oh, Lexus no. store. Final mile, dude. There's a Lexus store like two miles from here. <clears throat> and I went in because you're always like, hey, talk to these guys about this stuff. Well, yeah. you know that they had something called, I think it's LPD, way before COVID. It's the Lexus premium delivery. Okay. I didn't we know. Picking up cars and doing that's, all this before covid that's what we're finding out some of these services already existed in, in at certain levels but yeah now it's popularized well so here's what the deal is what did i say i said lexus i bet if i went to the audi dealer the bmw dealer the mercedes dealer the jaguar dealer the land rover dealer the maserati and the porsche dealer i bet they've probably been doing it for a while too right well you know what i saw a video where when they went in, they bought their car, they ordered some really high, these, this couple ordered this really high-end car. When they went to the dealership, there was a red carpet, there was champagne, there was valets. Yeah, I'm sure you can get free delivery, whatever you need. Right, so back to hauling cars, back to owning your own business, back to Assertus. So I'm thinking about all this, this show Tuesday night, right? We're talking about driving and they, they do all this stuff. I'm just like, how do you even think about keeping up with all that stuff? I know. I don't know how they keep up. With I don't it. actually. I don't know either. And I'm going to say, okay, transport, storage, title and registration, maintenance, compliance, and final mile. That's what if you're a if you're AT and T and you got people nationwide and people moved and all you got to do is okay, well we got a new employee here and he needs a car Tuesday, a Certus. Go to work. Right. So here was my thought. Wouldn't it be cool if because of your show, Tuesday night, Dispatching Live, Cars on the Move, ATI, Umbrella, 
Hey, I want to get in the business. I need to know how to haul cars. Call Ty. Where are you at? What are you doing? How's it working? What do you think? What do you want? Go through the whole list of blah, blah, blah. Like yesterday. Okay, this is no joke. I talked to this guy yesterday. <clears throat> Under three minutes, I could tell. And there wasn't. I wasn't being mean. I wasn't being rude. I just knew this guy doesn't need to hear me talk about how to go get his own customers. He needs to go right. too. Right. Right? And he's, I, not, I, he's, he's not, he didn't just fall off the apple cart. Yeah. He, Nobody he, does that. He's been around. He's not going to go get his own customers. That is not what he's interested in right now. Is that, can that change? Yeah. Will it change? Probably. But I want him to be successful. I don't want him to be hurt. Want him to have a successful business. So, you know, it's like your premium package, your gold package, your platinum package. Right. That's right. <laughs> Here's a good safe package for you. So as I'm thinking about mm. that call yesterday, I'm thinking about Assertus. I'm like, okay, wouldn't it be nice? You get a guy, <clears throat> hey man, I want to haul cars. I went through Ty's coaching. I believe in hauling cars, blah, blah, whatever. Some kind of a certificate, right? I get it. Here, go get your lease on to, okay, lease on to company we'll just go with the service right i don't know if they do that but sure we'll just say company a company a here you go okay so here's all the steps all you have to do is what you want to do which is drive your truck and own your own business yeah so you're an independent contractor we've got your authority we've got your eld we've got your tms we've got your whatever ready go yeah, right. It's like check, like it's like showing up at the store saying, "I want to be a firefighter," and then you go through the aisles. Okay, well here you're gonna need your helmet, and your O2, and your vest, and your axe, and okay, and here's the checkout, and go fight fires. You know, yeah, that is pretty cool. And between the yellow lines, right? Well, and the and the <laughs> and the reason why the picture gets clearer is because when you hear like a Certus talk Tuesday night. Do you want to do car haul? Do you just want to do drive away? Do you have a CDL license? So we are understanding it's not just this is how you get into car haul. Do you want to be a driver but you don't want to have a trailer? We actually have a program for that too. That's amazing. Cause right. So that's kind of where I was going with this. See, I knew it. I jumped in front of you. That's all right. You did good. <laughs> that's what I like about us. We didn't even talk today. I know, dude. Show no up. planning. Everybody's like, yep, no planning. These guys do not plan this show. It's obvious. It all came around. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way we roll. But no, really, I'm just, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, okay, I'm, I'm obviously hooked up on auctions. I'm messed up. It's got me messed up in the head. I just don't see how Mannheim and Odessa can keep the doors closed, make it this weird spooky deal to go even buy a car outside in well, the land, whatever. Yeah, no, and I think they're probably... There's got to be somebody at that organization saying what you're saying. Well, they're in the they're in the back with the in the you know no. <laughs> that is not. Come on, it's a family show. Well, I mean, here's the sad part. Okay, Tuesday night, and I haven't got past this post. Right, remember the post you had up there Tuesday night? Which one? The one where everybody's bagging on oh, it. The, the, just oh, the oh man, you know, <laughs> it was it was like somebody there was there was Mannheim information, and it was like a it was like one of those boxing ring punching bags, those big <laughs> long ones, and every carrier came by and gave his whack. Yeah, it was. Yeah, that was but, a great that was great stuff. Right, and I, I'm not saying Mannheim should know this, and I'm not saying it's important, but it, it should be a reflection of how people really feel about Mannheim. And I don't know what they do for marketing. I don't know what they do for videos, YouTube, blah, blah. I, I don't keep up with Mannheim like that. But, <clears throat> man, wouldn't it be cool if you actually were a business where people wanted to come and really wanted to be a part of something and really was excited about it? Like independent auctions? I mean, there's energy, dude. I mean, you feel it. You literally feel it when it's you pull an, in the parking lot. It's an ecosystem. It's different. And I mean, yeah, call me a freak and call me weird. I don't care. I'm telling you, go pull into the drive, the, where the dealers park at a Mannheim and Odessa. Just go try it. It's weird. 
Um, I'll tell you what, man. You this is this is what? It just feels like you're in trouble. Um, I think that's a good cliffhanger. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at, I'm looking at the time, and I'm and I and dude, I'll tell you what. No, seriously, and I, I don't mean to just cut you off. But you know how I am. I just I just make a decision and just go with it. So, um, I think that that is a good cliffhanger. And I just hey, I'll make I'll tell you what. I just made a note. I'll just you want to see my notes? All right, we got. Uh, oh, we didn't talk about Kenneth C four. Um, but we're going to talk Thursday at KCI, okay, 10 a.m., next Thursday for 30 minutes. And I just made a little, uh, oh, this is from Christmas. I, I just made a note, okay, so ma there's the Mannheim punching bag and the line of carriers. I'm going to see if I can come up with an infographic. You know, did you see my, did, because <laughs> I'm crazy. Did you see my, um, <clears throat> and Cox will love it. They're going to love it. Um, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to interrupt you now. Because here's the deal. I, I think I know how to make this work. I really do. Manhunt, I mean, and I'm not speaking for anybody, but there, there is a lot of animosity in this business, and a lot of it is dumped on the carrier, right? And the carrier deserves a lot of it because the carrier honestly has created a lot of the animosity, right? Whether it's real or not, they, they the carrier is always the pain point. So my thought is, is, Rather than just bag on people and rag on people, we can try to bring this together in such a way that might work. Like, let's teach carriers how to be nice. And that, in, we, I, well, we're, we're doing that actually. We are actually doing something about it. Yeah. Um, and that's why, like, Wheel of Topics Tuesday night, we're gonna go, we're gonna get into this stuff again. And that's why my little my little joke here, my Mannheim punching bag in the line of carriers is not. I'm not making fun of Mannheim. I'm. I'm I'm reminding of some them something I think they know or if they don't they do need to know because the carriers without the carriers nothing happens you got a lot full of cars what or you don't I mean you got the dealer too and mm -hmm. I mean but you can't I mean, have a bunch of deal you can't have a bunch of happy dealers standing around looking at cars that never got to the auction or aren't going to be able to leave the auction Right. And okay, this is the intersection, right? It's always, and I've heard this forever. It's always a pain in the neck to get the carrier to get the freaking cars to the auction in time for the sale. I can't get the carrier to do the job. Okay, guess what, guys? Good news. We're here. We're here. We're going to help you with that. We're going to educate carriers why the cars need to be here on time. <laughs> Give us a little bit of grace, work with us, but we're going to try to encourage carriers to understand the way things work. The cars need to be here because the sale's Thursday, guys. We got to get the cars here. Well, this ties into what Jay and Ty, Ty are always talking about. What about empty miles? This isn't doesn't make sense. I don't know. We'll figure that out later. I just need you to understand as a carrier, cars need to be here at a certain time. And on the other end of that, Mannheim keeps putting out new rules. Well, why is that? Where was the information before the new harsh rule came into place? It was it a laminated sign out by the fence that nobody read? How about YouTube? Have you tried YouTube? Yeah, Facebook, YouTube. So really? anyway, that's a good. I'm not. I'm. Uh, I'm really <laughs> excited. We're there. This was good. This was a good sale this great, week. Great man. There great talks with guys wanting to get in the business. Guys that are really excited. I mean, we've got guys we've been talking to. I got a text. Dwayne today. He's got his trailer. He's ready to go. I mean, wow. there's a lot of good stuff happening. That. You know, even Jay doesn't know about it. Oh, my gosh. Exactly. <laughs> Exa no, exactly. I mean, we don't talk often enough. We talk occasionally. But I'm really looking forward to we've got a monthly roundtable. The next one is in 10 days. Is that the 14th, I believe? Yeah, it's Monday the 14th. What I'm going to do is I'm going go to go to the website. You go to autotransportintel.com. You click on CTS Coaching. What we might need to have Ryan do is make monthly roundtable its own menu clickable. That might be a good idea because it's getting popular and that'd be easier to find. Sign up for the monthly. Here, let's go to the live chat. Sign up for the monthly roundtable. I know we plug it a lot. Um, I don't think we need to plug it as much as we do. I'm just excited about it. 
you know? I'm not worried about... Really, that's why I made that... You saw me give that little speech about the size of the circle of the chairs. Man, yeah. if there's only six people there, shoot, that's fantastic. Yeah. Because if it gets to 30 and 40, I don't know what we're going to do. <clears throat> I don't know. So, <laughs> don't, you know what? I need to go erase that. Do not sign up for the <laughs> monthly roundtable. Out. Out of space. Uh, that, that went sour quickly. <laughs> yeah. Not welcome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah, we're man <laughs> I was just going to say that. But I let you take the... You you, you just got an axe right into... The... Hey, you know, let's just put it out there. Manheim, I've been around you guys forever. I mean, G, the GMs, I've, been, I've hung out with all you guys. I know who you are. I'd be happy to help you. Well, and you know, they know who I am too, and I've met several guys. Here's the thing. Uh, and you know what? This isn't just a Mannheim thing. This is, man, this is all over the, I see it all over the auto transport industry. I was just talking to Ryan about it. There are so many companies that are still waiting to see if maybe talking and communicating is a good idea. There are so many companies still waiting that it actually boggles my mind. Um, and that's why, like, so then when, like, Jack Cooper shows up, I'm like, well, I have been trying to tell everybody do what Jack Cooper did. Talk on the show. Let's talk to the people. Stop yeah, waiting. And then, and not not just the waiting, but then you see these, like, really canned corporate versions of communications. Like, we're going to put this out there like it's information. And it's, I got nothing out of that. <laughs> dude. <laughs> dude. Thanks, dude. Dude. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, shoot. Good stuff. Yeah, great stuff. Great Friday. Um, I just want to say in the live chat, thank you guys so much for tuning in the live chat, saying hello. It means a lot to us. Otherwise, me and Ty could just... If nobody's going to show up, we'll just call each other on the phone. But you know what? That's not the case. Because it's cars on the move and people show up. We really appreciate it. It's so cool. Yeah, definitely. It's a great, it's a great show. Very educational. I mean, yeah. look right behind me. See behind me? This is where we check cars in, right? Okay, right. So those were brought in from... Where do you think those cars are from? If you had to guess. Based on the year, make, based on the year, make, model, and condition, what do you think I'll these are? i you, watch this. Okay. I know exactly where this car awesome. came from. Oh, look at that. So is that from a dealership? Probably came from an auction. That's an auction sticker. So it came from another auction? Yeah, that happens all the time. Yeah. Who brings yeah. that? Who is it? Right, transporters bringing. Is that transport or is that drive away? Lost you there, Ty. Is that transport or drive away? We don't know. I wasn't yeah. here. Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't here. Oh yeah. shoot, man! Well, all right. Dude. The big transport come in and brought in a bunch of Hyundai's. Yeah. Hyundai Kia. Anyway, it's good. Have a good weekend. Call me if you need me. Beautiful day, man. Thank you so much for everything you do. This is so much fun. I'll see you Tuesday night, and I'll see you Thursday morning and Friday at noon. Oh, there's. Oh, there he is. That's a new guy. Remember Zach? Yeah. He's loading. Awesome. That's cool, isn't it? That is cool, man. All right. Well, have a good weekend. If you need me, call me. Stay safe. Wear a mask. All right. <laughs> Ty's like, no, man. Okay, right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I didn't hear that. Got to go. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bye, dude. Oh, man. That's hilarious. Oh, man. You know what, you guys? Friday Cars on the Move is just kind of fun. Um, I mean, you know, we know you're busy, and that's why I try to I try to keep it to be a short show, because I know you guys are busy, um, but it's fun to... Uh, I think, I think to having the ecosystem, the community aspect, the information, and the... Uh, just the whole shebang. I think it, I think it's working. I think it's really cool. 
And it's about information and education. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of, just a little bit of, you know, like when we're talking about Mannheim. I know that, that borders on, oh, you're not being, you know, professional. Actually, we are keeping a professional because, man, we could go way south of what we talked about. Let me tell you something. But we want to help. So, Mannheim, Odessa, Cox, Car Global. I'll stop there. There are so many companies. I'm not going to name them because I don't need to. You guys know. There are so many companies, so many opportunities to talk on Auto Transport Intel. Tuesday Night's Live is for experts, advertisers, and interviews. And Wheel of Topics, where we kind of reach out to part of the core and topic, talk about some of these important topics. That's what we're going to do Tuesday night, September, Wheel O Topics. Thursdays is for Dispatching Live. Fridays is for Cars on the Move. But in between that, if you've got a company, product, or service that you think is ready to talk on Auto Transport Intel, send me an email, autotransportintel at gmail.com. I may send you over to Ty, talk to Ty. Or, you know, we may schedule, uh, but we have everything is meetings and prep. Uh, nobody just goes live without, a, you know, without an understanding. Now, cars on the move, man, and we just throw Ty right in there because he's ready. <laughs> just open that rodeo gate and let him, let him run. He's ready to go. And dispatching live, I mean, how can you plan what's on the load board? That, that, that's why it's a live show. Editing afterwards, a dispatching live of the load boards. What's well, the past? I mean, it just happened. So, what's the point? Well, I'll tell you what, man, guys. Thank you so much for spending the time with us. This is a lot of fun. It's informative and it's important and it really helps out. So, stay safe. Wear your mask. I guess, right? Keep doing your thing. We'll get through this. We are in this together. This is Auto Transport Intel. Thank you guys so much. I'll talk to you soon.